All right, going down the train of Oktoberfest beers. Oh, it's going to be a rough night. Uh, all right, Carbock. Definitely, I don't think I got bought out completely, but I know Anheuser Bush is now in charge of it pretty much. So, this one has 25 IBUs, 5.5. It's a lager, is what they're qualifying as. So that means they use the cold bottom fermenting yeast method. It's a mouthful of great beer. You may not be able to make it over the Opa of all beers festivals but you can celebrate right here with your faithful tribute carb oktoberfest it's an authentic barbarian style marson with vienna and munich malts that's cold fermented and aged for six weeks nice feels just right with pretzel sausage and yelling a hearty prost to your neighbors all right all right this is what it looks like all right, so I guess all of them are doing similar things. Let's see. Ooh. It's a lot different. All right, so we're looking at lighter on the malts. As far as like, you know, if they toasted them or not. Uh-oh, too much head on that one. It's a cold glass. I shouldn't have used a cold. Oh, well. We shall make it. There's a four. So it smells a lot lighter. Ooh, very good, solid, caramelly flavor off the bat from the top side. Well, yeah. So you get the maltiness, but there's a distinct caramel undertone, right? Just right underneath it. It's definitely lighter. Uh, it's definitely more like the polliner. Very refreshing. I like that. So this can be enjoyed on warmer nights, but eventually it'll get all cold. <sighs> Sorry about that, horror, but technically this is the correct way to have beer. This actually traps all the flavor in the bubbles, so it doesn't go completely flat on you very fast. But I don't have to worry about that because I don't drink slow. That is nice. I like that. You gotta try this one. Man. It just full of flavor. It's punching, but it's not kicking your tongue's butt. Then you want another sip right away. It's just, just a lot going on. That's probably one of my favorites now. Nice. It's not super. A couple of them, like Perinales, I don't know if they're gonna do it this year. Had a very strong, bland bitterness. I'm not getting that from these ones. I'm getting caramel, multi to toasty. Uh, the malts are dancing back and forth. I'm not feeling anything crazy and that's just a good flavor that i like so all right that one's solid i like that one uh for the true beer people that don't want to support an of bush i understand uh for anyone that's coming into this and they don't know what beer they like and they want to figure things out i'm going through all of them for you so you can decide i'm just buying this little bit for crybach uh, i do have my my conflict with them i am trying to support local breweries help them grow and to maintain the Brewers Guild so they can keep protecting each other and be able to thrive because they really help our economy. Their money goes to buying from us and local ingredients and aluminum, everything they need, you know, and, and, and hiring people and things like that. That's very important. It's very great for healthy growth. So, but in a nutshell, if you just want to drink beer, that's what this is about. All right, so thank you for watching. If you're new, um, the SRM on this looks pretty light too. Um, pretty low maybe like four but flavor is definitely there all right do drink safe be careful don't drink and drive don't pull over and sip <laughs> on the way home uh, be responsible honestly uh, it's a dangerous place already we don't need to add more things definitely get you got cans you can take it home put it in the fridge and enjoy it so thank you for watching have a good night